Yeah, so in terms of final uh, comments, um, I guess uh, the aim of today was to move from, well, the first step, just getting the, the, the damn thing installed on your computer. That can be pretty painful at first, um, but after a while you just get used to living in a world where you've got to install, install a few dependencies and realise, oh, I don't have this package. So that's step one, achievement one, excellent. Um, step two, I guess, is the nuts and bolts of the language and how to use functions and all that sort of thing. Um, just how it works. So you've got a flavour of data manipulation and graphics, but they do take some time, I think, to just you've got to use a bit and get a sense of the functionality. Um, if you're trying to get more help, um, you know, what's next, you don't know how to do a logistic regression in R, starting point, I would say, would be Quick R, the website. It's an awesome website. It's just organised um, really, really well. Uh, you want to run some advanced stats. Maybe you want to run a factor analysis. You know, whiz bang, there's a really basic code template you can borrow and um, replace with your bits. Awesome website. Uh, the, the reference cards are really nice when you still you kind of know what the function is or you, you know kind of broadly what type it is. And in general, Google has the answer. Um, if you say with R, multiple regression with R, you'll find R stuff. If you're really worried about um, you're not getting R specific stuff, you can use R seek um, and it will Google search a curated list of websites that cover R content exclusively. Um, so that's a little that's a little trick. Um, also, something really worth looking at is Stack Overflow. I don't know if anyone uses that, but um, it's a really well supported um, question and answer site. You'll get answers if you ask a decent question. That is um, within um, minutes or hours. Uh, Ideally, the, qu the question should be re reproducible so that others can show you how code works on it. Basic idea is just um, you go on the site, click Ask Question, and add the R tag. And then obviously, ask your question. And you'll get answers very quickly. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've got a sense now of you know, whether an R is a tool that could fit into your workflow, either as a sort of occasional tool or as a, a regular tool. Um, and maybe, maybe you've learned today it's not right for you, who knows, but that hopefully you've got a sense of what it can do and, and, and how it might work for you. Uh, it certainly is a tool that comes more useful over time. I, I use it as a starting point from just about everything, and that's because once you learn the graphing, the data manipulation tools, it's very easy to tack on one more piece of functionality, like multi-level modeling or whatever it might be. Um, if you wanted to look at next, next steps, there's a lot of uh, contributed free documentation on CRAN. Um, so a lot of sort of relatively large documents, there may be an area that's close to what you do. Um, you know, so they're well worth going through to learn a little more if you, you can. And yeah, hopefully, you know, you find this useful, you can use R in your ongoing work. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate everyone um, for coming, so thank you very much.